First and foremost, let's have a look at that packaging. You can see the X-Men 97 logo at the top, as well as a silhouette of the whip figures from Wave 1. Probably should have included the figures from Wave 2 on this, just saying. A silhouette of what the character looks like from the show. And a look on the back of the box. You can see a picture of the figure himself. And the other figures that are in this wave. I always appreciate when they show the other figures in this wave. The only downside... No read-up of the... No bio for the figure. That's the, so sad. Here's a look at the figure out of the packaging. And let's take a look at the accessories first. He comes with a Sentinel Blaster. He comes with a spear and some type of beating stick and these are just a nice silver plastic you can see a little bit of marbleizing on there nothing too dramatic he also comes with a mutant power taking rifle that has a little plastic cone on top that that actually comes with this um on this i kind of wish there were more detail on the scope and just little divots and stuff right here but than that, the sculpt of it is exactly how it looks in the show. And yeah, you can see like some nice marbleizing silver plastic on there, which I actually think adds more detail to this. And the nice gold plastic right here, it looks like a little has a little sheen. You see a little sparkle on camera. But no, this is molded perfectly well and looks exactly how it does in the show. Now let's set this aside and let's look at the figure. First, let's take a look at the head sculpt. And it is black with a odd looking diamond going facing downward. Its eyes, you see his eyes are like a dull, dull white. You can see a nice sparkly kind of look on the silver plastic. Or what I assume is silver plastic. And then you can see he's kind of just like stuck in like a trench coat. With like a black... Uh, kind of black coating down here. The belt says FOH, which stands for Friends of Humanity, because he works for them in the show. And you can see his nice pouches are here. Almost trying to look like he has a Batman utility belt. All the way around, and you can see right here. You can see that both his arms have a nice chain metal kind of like protection here. And then you can see it's on the other arm too. Both of them are exactly the same. And he has a nice like little loose like red drape thing right here. Which I'm terrified this is going to rip off. And it kind of moves. And you can kind of see it's kind of uh, just kind of pegged in right there. I hope it's glued in. And then you see his, he's got some big steppers right here. Big stompers. It's going to go stomp a mud hole in people. You see he's got some nice shin guards right here. Black pants. Nothing too fancy about that. See right there. Same thing. No treads. Just pl silver plastic with a peggle. And the writing and stuff right here. Oh, that's it. <clears throat> oh, he don't, oh, he he took a thud. Okay. Very nice figure. I mean, I like the detail in here. It has nice encasing. It's basically cased like black plastic, but let's take a look at the accessories with the figure. Here he is first with the Sentinel Blaster and you can see this in the show. This is not specific to him. All the Friends of Humanity, they all have these. And it's just a mini form of a Sentinel Blaster. You can see that it's just a generic blue plastic with some nice sculpted detail. And the circuitry is detailed on here. And then nice little, little shoot. Oh, we can shoot you. Go pew, 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 pew. Pew. 
Here he's just a little, like, I think this is like a little shocky stick. I don't know. He didn't release this too much in the show, so I guess he just kind of shocks. And, yeah. This one's just kind of meh. And here he is with his most unique weapon, the mutant power taking rifle of doom. You can just kind of use everybody as target practice and just kind of shoot all of people, everybody's powers and be like, give me them now. Yeah, kind of wish it came with some alternate hands just so that way you can hold, like have a gun holding hand in this hand too. I mean, I guess you can kind of put it in here, but it doesn't really work too well. You'd kind of have to stretch the plastic, but no, some accessories, some different hands would have been nice, but it comes with the most accessories so far, any figure from any wave, so that's a plus. Now let's take a look at the articulation. His head can go, is on a, I assume a dumbbell joint or some type of joint and can go all the way around. It's kind of similar to how Batman hushes. His arms can go just below 90 degrees. And I believe that is both of them. Well, actually, no, this one can go higher because it doesn't have the shoulder pad blocking it. It just has this red drape. He is on a ball jointed hit, a uh, ball jointed at the waist is what I assume. And he can kind of go like this, although he can't really, he can go this way that much. And this way, not much because of the strap. He can go he can bend forward that much and go forward that much his hands are on a hinge joint and they can go all and pivot, rotate all the way around his legs can go forward that much the he can kind of split his legs that far which is not even a split i don't know what you'd call that also i forgot he has double jointed pinless elbows but he can't really get a good bend because of the sculpting of the straps and everything right here. Double jointed pinless knees. But you can't really get a good bend with the trench coat, so it makes it kind of hard. And the knee pad just kind of sticks out. And he also has ankle articulation that can go forward and back. And nope, they can kind of pivot. And there was most importantly thigh cut, but you can't really see it too much because it's kind of hidden. <clears throat> All right, let's take let's take a look at some size comparisons. This with his worst nightmare, Magneto. I mean, really executioner like a big baby against Magneto. And here he is with the leader of the X Men, Cyclops. And as you can see, Cyclops looks like he's taller than him when in the show they looked about the same height or vice versa executioner looks a little short and here he is with his favorite target practice oops i mean storm my bad and here he is with everyone's favorite amazing fantasy spider-man hey executioner what's that gun do ask storm but uh I need water. I feel so dry. I can't feel the moisture. Oh my god, you dehydrate people. I'm good. I'm out of here. Swip! Whee! I just want to show you how exactly small Executioner is. So here he is with uh, Batman Hush, a very oversized Batman in my opinion. Can't wait for the black and gray version of Nightfall Batman to come out. Expect a review on the channel when that comes out. And, uh, yeah. Executioner's tiny. But also, let's see the similar jointed necks. Um, so, a uh, slight issue. Batman's too big to fit on the screen, so we're gonna try to make this work. But you can see here. See, see, look at that. Very similar jointed necks. Just kind of looking at each other like... Hmm. Like... Hmm. And I just wanted to show this off real quick, that he can actually hold all his weapons, and you see all the weapon storage on the back, and let me show you exactly how he's able to do that. So you can kind of see on here, there, there's two holes right here, of course this one's pegged into one of them, 
but one peg's in there and then the other one pegs in right here be careful they are kind of snug and then there's a port right here on this bag right behind that and they just plug in right there and he can store all of his weapons by the way there we go and i will say i always like it when a, a figure is able to store all of his accessories and hold them all I just wish he came with some alternate hands so that way he wouldn't be subjected to just holding certain weapons in certain hands. It would have given him more variety. I am pleasantly surprised with this figure, but on the downside, he is a little short compared to everybody else. As you saw, Magneto and Cyclops are about taller than him. But bright side is, he does come with a lot of accessories and he can hold them all. So I will say that is a good plus. Now, if we're going to start getting these retro, makeshift retro carded packaging for certain figures and it not include a build a figure piece or something, at least put more accessories so that way it's worth the $25 you're paying for it. As you've seen with a lot of these, there's a lack of accessories. I will say with ex Executioner and kind of the Goblin Queen, the accessories were a little bit better, especially Executioner. Like with Nightcrawler, I probably would have preferred both his swords because he's seen with them in the show. And it just, all in all, it kind of is a letdown sometimes. With all that, though, I will say, I am I do like the Executioner as a figure. The character in the show was very good. As you saw, he um, used Storm as target practice. He ain't miss. Well... If you count on the fact that the shot was originally for Magneto, but that's, a, that's besides the point. Um, I honestly, this this is one of the figures I was more looking forward to because it's a new character. I like new characters. I, it is a little short. I was hoping he'd be just a little bit taller, but I'm happy with this figure. And so far, this wave is really good. Um, between wave one and wave two, I can't really decide which was my favorite. And so we have to look at the next figure and the final figure in the wave, which will be Jean Grey. But with all that being said, remember always to like, subscribe, and please share my content so that way it reaches all the masses and everybody finds out about this channel. I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel and I need your help to do it. But on the final note, Please remember that my cash app is down below in the description. And as always, folks, please remember, have an amazing day. Crimson out.